So it's Hallie. Welcome back to Lacria Legends. When we last left off, we were just about to do the boss of this area. And I just want to check real quick and see what my party's looking like. Um, I'm a little wary bringing Knight into this because I assume we're going to be fighting a light boss, and I have a uh, sneaking suspicion he's probably going to be weak to light. Well, I mean he is weak to light, but <laughs> they're probably going to use light attacks, and it's going to hurt him a lot. Uh, I need to put the key in the hole first, huh? Let's start by doing that. Uh, heavenly key. There we go. Okay, now I get to save that I did that again, because if we lose to the boss, I don't want to have that make good to happen again. Yes. No. What, what are you? Wait, I think we did see you once before. Just leave us alone. I'm trying to go. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Now I can cross. Oh, what if there's things in the thing? There. Of course there are. Uh, any more I should check before I move on to what is surely the boss? Oh, I was going to go save that I picked up at Magic Tonic. Oh well, here's hoping. You again? So, it seems you have finally come. This Halloween, I did not expect to set foot here so soon. I must thank you for opening the passageway for me. This could not have been done without your help. A seal that was set by Gaia? Now, do you know what this particular object is right here in front of me? Whatever it is, it belongs to the tower! The tower! Keep your dirty hands off of it! My, my, such a hot-headed individual. Tell me, shall I have to extinguish those flames myself? You might. What, you? Why don't you say that to my face? Enough of this petty squabble. You are not even worth dealing with. None of you are as of now. No, no. I need you alive for just a while longer. Once I shatter the light source here. Enough of these games, Hayden. Just what are you really after? Do you wish to rule this world? Rule the world, huh? No, thank you. Makes me sick to even think about it. You will never stop, won't you, brother? I am only trying to do what is best for my world. I have no idea what you're talking about, but I just can't let you do as you please. If I cannot stop you here, then I have no choice but to hold you back for now. Heavens, feel my presence. I call the machines of the skies. Aedas, obey your master. Yes, I can feel it now. My power knows no bounds. Cower in fear, pathetic humans. I am afraid I must depart now. There are other urgent matters I must attend to. Farewell, parasites. No, no. I have been called forth by the master. You pesky insects that pollute this tower, you'll be eliminated by my hand. Ren, look up, it's coming from the sky. Oh, look at this dude. Aedas, machine of the heavens. Okay. Yeah, we're here. You can't silence me. Or, well, I mean, you totally can, but... Oh, I forgot to put up my cheat sheet. What moment, dear viewer? I don't even know what I'm supposed to be using with every character. So I still don't remember. Okay, so it's supposed to be Swords of Light with Ren, but I think he won't be able to while silenced. Yeah. So that means Dragon's Fury is the next best thing. Yeah. You, we're best off with Demon Rush. Let's hope he's weak to this. We use Tornado. You are finished. A decent chunk. 
for a boss that probably indicates a weakness. You were what? Magma Fissure? Yeah. There we go. Ooh, he's gonna do it twice. Nice. But it actually isn't that strong against him. Perhaps I should try. Well, no. <laughs> the next attack down on Ren's list would be unsheathed energy, and there's just no reason to try that. Overdrive mode. That's a lot of attack. Uh, let's summon Terra or whatever. I guess I could try my light attack now, but I feel like he's very likely to be resistant to it. You are finished. I was gonna say we're kinda dunking on this guy. And I was just about to use her turn to refi of night, but the menus confused me because it's this game. Yay. Alright. That's okay. That's what we have Fruit Blast T for. Ding. All better. Uh, that wasn't what I wanted to do. I didn't remember my position on the menu. He was doing something crazy is what that said. It's fine. I think this will finish him. What happened to all his health? We just kind of annihilated him. That was one of the easiest fights we've had. Cyclonic Relic. Don't think I didn't see it. Yeah, so long, nerd. We learned that spamming our strongest attacks was the way to victory, and we were right. I don't see the essence anywhere around. Could it have been taken? Oh, I do need to put... I'll get this back up. One moment, dear viewer. Uh, eh, eh, okay. Well, I suppose you can say it has left this tower quite long ago. Why am I tired of mysterious voices from beyond talking to me? It seems you made it to the far end of the tower, just as I asked of you all. That man was here, or that was here just now. You must stay as far away from him as possible. His energy, it is unspeakable. Who are you, exactly? Right, I suppose it would be fitting to only introduce myself to you. I trust enough in you all to reveal my true form. My name is Cronus. I am the Overseer of Time itself. Some refer to me as Father Time. That's simply fascinating. We have really met a great deal of important people and entities along this journey. Yes, I am aware of that. I am aware everywhere, my child. The seams of time reveal everything to me. So you can shift the flow of time as you please, huh? Is there a way to rewind time before all of this mayhem happened? That would be beyond helpful. Oh, straight to the point, are we? Time itself can never be altered for any favor. It is a flow that you must swim with, never against. Although, there are many ways I can be of use to you all. With time comes vast knowledge. You mentioned that the essence of this tower looked long ago. What exactly happened to it? You see, this tower itself was constructed by both my brother and I. Our main purpose was to protect the light source which you see in front of you. This sacred pulsing orb is responsible for channeling the flow of positive energy all throughout Lacria. If the flow becomes disrupted, then the balance of energies would break before our very eyes. We observed the world in silence, making sure the balance of energies was never disrupted. I, the observer of time, and my brother, the observer of space. Shiro? About 1,000 years ago, Lacria was visited by an unknown group of travelers from another world. They were naturally curious of the tower itself, and decided to inhabit it for themselves. The longer they remained within the tower, the more my brother began to lose his presence. Eventually, time and space could not coexist together anymore. My brother shifted into another dimension. What those visitors were doing in this tower, it was both incredible yet frightening. 
Why are they doing? That is something you must discover for yourselves. Perhaps even more of your questions will be answered if you venture to the here or there. Before you depart, I can offer something of great use to you on your travels. Please accept a gift from me to bestow upon you. Uh, uh, did we make a choice like this once before when we picked like gift of love? Uh, I feel like we've already got plenty of power. Let's go with the gift of magic. Doesn't that sound whimsical? Oh wait, what does it do? Raises intellect of entire party by three, and Ren learns a magic burst, whatever that is. Hmm. Okay, well let me just check then, because let's see if the gift of love is actually something we already got before. Yeah, because we got that swift aid thing. Yeah, yeah, I remember now. Okay, so what are the other two then? There is MP by 10, and Ren learns nature's call. He literally uses the bathroom on the enemy. Uh, raises attack of the entire party by 3, and Ren learns power mode. As if the guy needs more power. Uh, let's... no. Hmm... <laughs> I mean, we have been using magic a lot. This isn't a huge boost, but... Oh, I don't know. As silly as this one seems to me, I'm gonna go with it. Very well. Take this gift, young ones. It is sure to help you all on this perilous journey. I wonder what would happen if I tried to pick Gift of Love again. Receive the Gift of Nature. Raise up and raised by ten. Nature calls and learned. What if they, when Ren uses a skill against an enemy, you have a 25% chance to activate Nature's Call. This summons a creature of nature to aid you in battle. Oh, curious. So one in four units of attacks will bring in an, an ally of sorts. You are almost at the end now, children. Your journey will not be in vain. You will soon understand the secrets of this world that have been hidden from mortal eyes. I will activate the elevator in the first room for you. That will take you beneath the tower. Godspeed, children of Gaia. Save this world from the lingering threat of evil and negativity. Alrighty. Tower of Eden complete. How did we do? Oh, we found all the items! Oh, we found all the chests! We got a rank S! All on our own, baby! Didn't need the developer to tell me anything! Your party received 200 experience and 200 gold! You received Melody! You received 2 Fairy Ink! You received 50 Rainbow Seashells! Oh god, that might have put me off my Rainbow Shell Shells limit! Level 68 was reached! 57 for night! Good stuff! Well done! We've conquered two dungeons out of, like, six. I'm a god. Okay, so let's see. Our rainbow seashells. I wanted to take a look. How many did, do we have now that I got 50 more of them? It did. It put us over 99. Okay. Um. Well, now's as good a time as any to use them, I suppose. Uh. Yeah, let's use the paradise fruit. What do I want to get for my rainbow seashells this time? Hmm. I don't know how I want to spare my spare spend my fairy inks either. It's just a little weird. We've kind of gotten all the skills I was interested in, and the rest don't seem very good at all. So let's see. We know this was like one of two ultimate weapons. We already got the energy sword, and the fairy staff would be for Lena. But, I don't know how... well, I mean, she is kind of a backup healer. Then there's the 75s. Which are pretty huge. Rainbow dress or starfall armor can be awarded by turning in 75 rainbow seashells. Uh, mm, like... Like, I just don't know. Choice paralysis, man. Did we ever get the 50s? I can only get one at a time either way. Dreamcatcher or Battle Tiki can be awarded by turning in 50 rainbow seashells. I don't know what either of those things are. 
Hmm. I also don't know how many more rainbow seashells I can even expect to get in this adventure. Uh. Well, the thing is, with 99 right now, we can only really get one item. Like, we either cash them all in, or we do like 75 and then have like a little bit left over to get a couple of these. We would still be off by like one. Ugh. You know what? I'd rather just not deal with the headache. I'm gonna get the staff. <laughs> you, managed, you managed to find 99 rainbow seashells. Thank you very much. Here's your reward. Please choose your reward. That one. Fairy staff. There we go. Out of the way, crab. Oh, I can't pause. I was gonna equip it on Lena right away. Alright, you. The fairy inks. Uh, what do I want? even want to upgrade them. View upgrades. Let's see. Uh, I guess I could just go bigger damage on things. Like, why not at this point? There's no reason not to. Hey, look, we're back up to zero varyings. Wow. So, uh, Swords of Life. They were Swords of Light. They go up by 20 damage with a 60% chance of death, and they do light damage. They already did light damage, so... Yeah, it's just more power. Sure, take it. Dang. Alright, I'll jot down the difference. And my little notepad. Not that it matters, it's not like it's going anywhere from the top of Ren's list. Who else could use more power? I wanna stop upgrading him. I remember that Serene's does not change in power when I upgrade it, so I'm not too interested in that one. But somebody else's might. Let's look at Knight's, actually. Knight's damage output is kind of disappointing. Let's see. There's Dance of Death. Uh, that would bump Dancing Steel by 50, which is pretty good, actually. And it would make him his, or it would make his strongest attack as well. As opposed to Demon Rush for 260. Although well, Demon Rush hits everybody, so it might still be a better call in most circumstances. Hmm. Uh. Yeah, I think I want him to have at least 300 damage. There you go, knight. I can now put his physical attack at the top of his list, instead of being second in line. But I'm sure we'll still get to hear him say, I'll blow you away many more times. Alright, good stuff. I don't want to leave. Let me out. Leaving. Bye. Okay. Oh wait, is this thing the elevator? I guess it's glowing now. I guess that would explain its existence and why I can jump on it. Uh, I wanted to equip the thing. That new thing we found. What was it? Was it a? It's the Cyclonic one, right? Yeah. Petal Lash now hits all enemies on the field. Uh, well, Tornado already does that. <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about, like, certain skills just being totally pointless. Uh, whatever. Wow, the Fairy Staff is actually worse than Twig of Ashikon. I'm so glad I just spent 99 Rainbow Seashells on this. It matches the speed, and that's it. So one staff should the finds and flowers. Is, is there anything else special about it? Like, for real? Are you serious right now? You know, dear viewer, I wouldn't normally do this, but looking at this and how utterly underwhelming it is, I actually want to spend my rainbow seashells on something else. Oh, we didn't save that we beat the boss. Okay, you know what? The recording just started. I'll be right back, and we'll return whenever I'm, I'm done with it. Yeah, see you soon. Bye.